Well, this coming Sunday marks two years since 15-year-old Novea Kingbird vanished in Bemidji. Her disappearance sparked massive searches, the most recent happening just last month. Police say they've gotten several tips, but still no answers. Now, Novea's big sister is taking a new approach to bring her home. Heidi Wigdahl shows us how. Autumn is a time of change and transition. But as seasons have come and gone in Bemidji, Minnesota, there's been no change in the disappearance of Nevaeh Kingbird in two years. It still feels fresh to us, like the hurt is still there. You know. Um, Lakaley Kingbird. I look at this book, Lynn. Is Nevaeh's big sister. I'm feeling sad. The pair, just over a year apart in age. It's just the love. You can just tell how much we loved each other. Life has been hard without her, you know. Just like my best friend. And it's everything in one. LaCaylee. I remember this picture. Says Nevea lost two close friends the year she disappeared. That sent her into this down spiral. It led her to using alcohol um, the night she went missing. In late October, Nevea's family says the 15-year-old had invited friends to her mom's house. When the party was busted, she ran, eventually ending up half a mile away at a friend's home at Southview Terrace Park. Her friend's stepdad just got home or something, and he was like knocking at the door. And Nevea got scared, and um, she had took off. When they looked out the window, she was gone. That was around 2 a.m. on October 22nd, 2021, the last time Nevea was seen. So yeah, Lakaley was away getting treatment for her mental health. They were telling me over the phone that she ran away. I let myself believe that, you know, it wasn't our first time. Me and her both ran away before. Also, I had like the, the negative side where I was like, something doesn't feel right. Nevea's phone, clothes, all left behind. And then this is, um... About a month later. An old picture of us. LaCaylee says investigators started asking questions. And I just know that I want to help people that are going through the same thing I am. LaCaylee's sister's disappearance opened a door to a new path. At 18, she's now a student at Leech Lake Tribal College in Cass Lake. In this classroom, education meets lived experience. How's mom doing? She's good. When I first met with LaCaylee, because I always like to pick brains a little bit and see what the interest in law enforcement is and what they want to do with their degree. The standards to be a licensed peace officer. One of her reasons was just that, what she has been through. The way her investigation was handled, the way her case is still being handled. I just want to spread awareness for not just my sister, but everybody else that didn't get any you know, attention. You can see the statute numbers. To be an agent of change. Bemidji sits in the middle of three large Indian reservations. Of course, State Fire Marshal. LaCaylee and Nevea are enrolled members of the Red Lake Nation. Our people go missing, and not just the women, the guys too. It's a pandemic for our, our people. It's why LaCaylee's ultimate goal is to work for Minnesota's Missing and Murdered Indigenous Relatives Office, established by the legislature in 2021. According to MMIR, although they make up less than 1% of the population, Indigenous women, girls, and two-spirit people account for 8% of all murder victims in the state. Native women face murder rates more than 10 times the national average. We're still not doing enough. It's difficult in your schools to talk about those topics, talking about what is decolonization, what is sexual abuse, what is trafficking, what is not okay. Instructor Audrey Thayer says it's like opening a Pandora's box. They're all interrelated. Economics. We are in poor counties up here, so the tax dollars for schools and for community housing, just having food on the table. Leech Lake can enforce all state and local ordinances. LaCaylee will spend two years in the law enforcement program, taking note of what works and what she thinks could be better. She wishes Bemidji Police Department would have started ground searches sooner. Yeah. As close as they were, LaCaylee believes her sister would have reached out by now. Yeah, I'm just trying to keep myself busy, you know. I just really think about what things would be like if she were here. DEA shares this jurisdiction. If I were to take these steps still, even if she was here. Even with the winds of change, seasons have come and gone two years worth with no answers. It's just a picture of her right here. Nevea, always close to LaCaylee's heart. We have this engraving in back. It says, bring Nevea home and never give up.
always try to keep hope, you know, find hope. Bemidji police say this is still an active investigation with many agencies involved, including the Bureau of Indian Affairs. They're encouraging anyone with information that could help this case to call Bemidji police or Crime Stoppers Minnesota. Lakalia Nevea's mom was not available for an interview when we visited Bemidji, but before her daughter went missing, she was taking some law enforcement classes at Leech Lake Tribal College and Randy and Julie. She's there part time and it's her hope that she can graduate at the same time as Lakali. Wow. Wow. Yeah. Inspirational. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Heidi. Yep. Thanks, Heidi.